These headphone jacks can be pretty tricky to fix and unfortunately they are a common failure point because they are what take on a lot of the stress and whenever they go uh, sometimes it can mean the end of the device because of how tricky they are to fix. Now um, a lot of people have headphone jacks like I have lots of old headphone jacks lying around and I can just clip them off and strip back the wires like this and it looks all right but these are actually pretty difficult to solder for one they're very thin but they're also coated in enamel um, and sometimes there's even strands of nylon plastic uh, that are twisted and woven like braided with the copper and it actually can be a lot more work than you're in for however uh, if you still want to salvage your headphones what I've found it makes it a whole lot easier now here's what I found makes it a lot easier. Um, I bought these like breakout uh, solderable, they have tabs on them and you can actually kind of spread the tabs out, give yourself some working space. And that's a much, much easier than trying to solder the bare wire. And the other advantage is that you have better strain relief. You can run the wires through and fold the tabs in around. Now once you've soldered it, the best thing is to, well actually you have to put the shrink tube on first. If you have shrink tube, that's the best. Um, and you could use electrical tape, but it have more of a tendency to come off. Um, and then just make sure that you have good strain relief because these wires are really small and just this plastic piece alone won't be enough. Um, so you might want additional, um, like wrap it in more electrical tape, or if you can put a piece of shrink tube over the whole thing and just try to really get the strain off of those super thin wires. We'll plug it in and test it. All right, well, we can see that everything is working and we have a good connection. And the best part is when this housing goes on, everything looks very clean.